up everybody Sven Diesel here we're gonna be tying up uh, the uh, carpet streamer this is uh, an interesting fly using a new material I've been uh, playing around with um, what we're gonna be doing is using a wire tail um, for the rear section you could do a two hook but let's go ahead I got a fire hole stick uh, size number two uh, this is a barbless hook and uh, I'm going to be using for this uh, some nano silk um, I don't remember the color but uh, cream yellow um, let's go ahead and start our thread and I'm just going to get a little bit of a thread base so this uh, silk doesn't uh, move around on me and I'm going to want this one to uh, ride um, hook up and so I'm going to add a large dumbbell I chose red for this one and I'm just going to go ahead and figure eight this on making sure to leave a little bit of space in front not um, not huge um, maybe uh, an eye length and so I'll go ahead and secure that um, using extra wraps and then get my uh, thread back to the uh, end of the shank and I'm going to go ahead and put some Z-Cement on those eyes just to uh, hold them in place and make sure they uh, don't move around on me. Put a little bit on the top and um, also a little bit on the bottom. And I'll go ahead and let that dry. Now the next step is I'm going to be using a um, wire tail for this. And uh, there's a couple different, you could do a, a rear hook with an articulation shank, but I just want a clean body all the way back. So I'm using some uh, nylon uh, coated wire. I cut off a section. I'm going to leave a tag end out the front because I like to double it back on itself. And so I'll go ahead and secure that and um, move it back. Do a couple, trap that little loop and do a few more snug wraps here and then work my way back up and I've uh, got a pair of uh, wire flush cutters that I found to be super effective um, for getting these wires out. Gotta make sure I hold them the right way but I'll snip this out and uh, I'm going to be crimping this wire into a loop on the, the back and so I've got a wire crimp here. I'm going to go ahead and thread this. I'm reaching around my camera here. There we go and uh, run that up and uh, then run it back through itself and um, we can go ahead and you can use this to adjust it to any length that you want so you could do a super long tail or a super short tail just by you know adjusting this loop and moving it um, you want to leave a little bit of a hoop there at the end um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple wraps to secure it just a little bit so I can then measure um, how long that tail is. And you can see it kind of curves up. Um, I'm going to compare it to, yep, that's right about the length I want. So you can make this longer, shorter, however long you want. And I'll go ahead and secure that. And I like using this wire versus uh, the other things. Um, the, the shanks, you get gaps in you know when you're tying from section to section but with this wire I can just run um, the material we're going to be using all the way up and um, I doubled back on my wire again and uh, there you can see I've got a nice tail and uh, that wire using the 15 pound it's not super stiff it, it's flexible it's going to give a little bit of movement more so than you know using a solid piece of something or um, this is just an alternative to not having um, a rear hook or doing a two hook system. And this is where it gets tricky. I usually use two vices uh, for this, but I'm going to go ahead and try and do this with one vice uh, because I know a lot of you guys probably just tying on one vice, but usually I'll, I'll hook my other vice right here on the front hook and then I can just wrap this. Um, the thread around just without having to hold it and it's a little bit cleaner wraps but it doesn't really matter I'm just trying to get my thread towards the back oh, I forgot to crimp this let's crimp this in so I'm just crimping it vertical and uh, then we'll go ahead you don't need these wraps to be touching or clean we're gonna be covering it up and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding a tail that's uh, made by uh, fly skins thin fins I as you can tell, I've been loving these and use them all the time. The, I just like them because you can color them. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just attach that so that the uh, the fin is just barely, there we go, right there. 
and uh, do a couple securing wraps and uh, this is another point that uh, could be easier right here with a second vise but uh, we'll go ahead and just hold it with our hand do a little freestyle and uh, wrap that up onto the main uh, hook and then um, I like to also double back on these uh, uh, thin fins and uh, you don't have to go all the way back but I'll go ahead and just uh, you know get a good little section there and uh, go ahead and snip out the uh, the remaining uh, section of the tail and we now have our tail secure now uh, I'm going to be wrapping this body with uh, the extreme string by uh, Simplify and uh, it doesn't add a lot of bulk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a small piece of I believe this is some micro chenille um, uh, and just something a color I don't use that often and so I'm just going to use it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in up here and I'm going to use it to create a little bit of bulk um, on this um, hook shank kind of forming a, a little bit of the body of this uh, 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 pattern um, you know giving it a little bit of bulk where you know it needs to be um, otherwise I'd probably use a whole card of the uh, body uh, extreme string I'm going to be using and so this way I'm able to you know minimize the amount of um, extreme string I use and also you know when it gets wet if I'm doing a lighter color you could accent this in different colors of, of underbody chenille and you know it might show through um, but uh, you can see I've got kind of a uniform taper. I'm going to build up a little bit of bulk right there and go ahead and tie it off. So you can see the, the body, I just pretty much formed a, a mold. And uh, you know, we're not going to be seeing this, so I'm just going to wrap over it again, which you know might secure it a little better, whatever. Um, I don't think, I think this is a pretty strong, uh, uh, durable fly um, streamer. So now um, we're going to go ahead and add this uh, extreme string and uh, this is um, kind of a, a tan, it's got a little shimmer to it, but uh, I'm going to just cut off a section here that's probably 18 inches maybe and I'll just go ahead and tie it in right here in this uh, back section I have exposed and just uh, doing a couple wraps again. You could throw this rear tail in a, in a vise and uh, have this secure so you're just wrapping it nice and easy but uh, I am also just using my hand it's fun just throw the bobbin over and catch it again and um, I'll go ahead and get my thread back up uh, to the uh, right behind the eyes and um, then um, you know I'll whip finish it just so I don't knock this thread off, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, snip out the excess, and then um, I want to put a little bit of uh, glue on that tail and where I tied in the body material, and so I'll put a little bit of Z-Cement right here and right here, and uh, that's just, you know, keep things in place. I don't want to run uh, super glue or the Z-Cement up the, uh, the wire, because then, you know, that might lose any movement I do get out of using wire might as well just put a solid piece in there now I'm going to take this and uh, start palmering this around um, the uh, uh, the wire crimp that I have there and my z-cement should still be a little wet so it's gonna you know you got to be kind of tricky with this but um, I'm kind of pulling these fibers back as I palmer it with my left hand and um, trying to make sure that I'm not trapping fibers going forward so that everything's going back. And uh, I can show you that a little bit more as I get into the main body of the, the hook. So um, I ran out, I had to tie in an extra section. But uh, basically I'm just wrapping it over and then pulling them back, wrapping it over, pulling them back, wrapping it over, pulling them back. Again, wrapping it over, pulling them back. You want me to say it again? Wrapping it over, pulling them back. And uh, by doing so, I'm just, you know, creating a nice uh, uh, body. Um, you can see it's, the fibers are going back. It's laying down nice. This material, I can't wait to uh, fish these um, because 
it's different than uh, other body wraps um, I've played around with. Um, it, I don't know what this stuff's made out of, um, but it almost seems like it's uh, strands of thread, or I guess I'll have to do some research for you. Um, and so I just tie that off right behind the eyes, kind of clean it up a little bit, making sure everything goes back. Um, you could run this all the way up to the, the hook eye, you could glue on eyes, you could put on a, uh, you know, a, a head. Um, there's a lot of different options, but for this, I'm going to be using a, uh, um, let's get these back. I kind of want to just make sure that's nice and clean. Yeah, got a few fibers. I just, my OCD-ness. There we go. And then I'll come in front of it. And for this, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a head uh, made out of, uh, of uh, dubbing. Um, look at that. That just is nice. So let's go ahead and uh, start to finish this head off. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, grab a... Uh, uh, Fly Fish Foods Bruiser Blend. It's uh, the, the long fibers. I'm just going to pull out a pinch and as I uh, pull them out I'm going to uh, kind of straighten them out, get them in a nice little group, trying to even them out so they're all the same length. And this is a you know a little bit thinner because this is going to be the uh, bottom of the fly so I'm using a, a light cream and I'm going to basically just do a couple wraps um, over this kind of midway I'd say five-eighths of the way over the material let's try that again I want to make sure I keep these on top in between the eyes and then test it and that looks good that's going to be my underbelly and then uh, make sure to not uh, I, I keep them separated at this point because I'm going to tie in another section on the uh, what would be the top of the the pattern and uh, for this, I'm going to uh, use a darker color to kind of match the body. And I'll do the same process. I just, um, I don't know how to measure this. It's not, you know, when it's in a tube, when a light fluffy tube, as I rolled it right there, it's not quite the size of a pencil. But uh, I'm going to do this a little bit of the same way, about five eighths of the way, um, kind of looking and measuring. And that looks good as I fold them over. And so, um, you know, at this point, you're just playing with it, trying to make it look pretty for that, uh, you know, make it as attractive as possible for that fish. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull those back and do some securing wraps in front to kind of trap those fibers going back. And then we're going to want to do a double whip finish on this um, and, uh, you know, making sure to get three or four uh, wraps on each uh, whip finish. And look at those, uh, look at that head just wanting to flow backwards. I'm already excited about this one. Now we're not done though. Um, we'll snip out our thread. This is not the final step. You're going to have bruiser blend fibers coming out. You can comb it. I'm just going to kind of preen them back and kind of try and trap out as many loose fibers as you want. Um, and uh, see how that lays. I really like that. That looks good. All right, now it's trimming time. Um, I've got these long scissors I like to use, and basically I'm going to trim the uh, underbelly to be just inside of the hook point. And so I kind of feel where that hook point is, and I start by trimming the belly and the top and the sides, and then I kind of round everything out. And so um, making sure not to trim off that tail that's another key thing and I'm um, doing this around my camera so it's uh, you know not the best uh, shot and not as easy as I make it look but uh, we're doing core workout right now as well so um, so I'll go ahead and trim that up and uh, you can see we've got ton of movement um, super durable the last thing is let's color this tail I'm just gonna use a brown sharpie I'm just going to paint that tail, and there we go. Hook up, barbless. Look at that. Turn left, turn right. Um, trimmed up a little bit. Um, that should be a, a nice lip piercer. 
Say hi.